Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys my top five iPhone home screen setups for 2026. These are setups that you can easily create on your home screen. They're not complicated. All you have to do is just use the right apps, the right widgets and the right wallpapers to get these amazing setups on your home screen. And we're starting with the first one. This is a very, very minimal setup for your home screen as you can see right here. What it does, it allows to have only the things that you actually need right on your home screen. Not to do this, you will need an app. It is called Dumb Phone, but you can just go ahead on the App Store and search for Minimal Phone and you will find a ton of these apps. They basically do the same thing. You can see right here, I have five apps that I can, of course, go ahead and open from here. It's that easy. They actually work, even though it's just like the name of the app. And you can remove everything else here. On the dock you can remove everything or maybe just keep an icon or two of apps that you actually need now to set this up you will need to go into the app and once you go here you will have right here the apps these are preset of course you can go ahead and change the style right here so if you want to have like different styles with different colors you can actually choose them here and then you can basically set up the position here of the apps, which is really awesome. You can also change the padding right there. Once you're done with that, you can go to the setup guide right here and it will show you how to set it up on your home screen. You will have everything here and you will be able to actually also download the wallpaper. So here we have set the wallpaper. You can view the steps right here and tap on the save button and then set it up on your home screen. Now, once you have everything set up, you go to your home screen and there you will have your favorite apps, the apps that you need the most here. And of course, a very, very minimal look. Next up, we're going with a setup that it's only created by widgets. And as you can see right here, we have these amazing looking transparent widgets, which I have added from an app called Mojo. You install the app on your device. It's actually very easy to use. You go into the app right here and you will have the ability to browse different widgets. You select the widget, you tap save, and then it's saved. So you go to your home screen and you add the widget from that app. Once you go and add the widget, you can tap on edit widget, go right here and pick one of the widgets that you have saved within the app. You enable right here transparent and they will have this amazing transparent look. Now you can see these widgets, they're really useful. So right here at the top, we have our activity, we have the details regarding the device, we have the weather, the calendar, and the today's date, which is really awesome. And then right here, we have an app launcher, which allows us to open any app we want. And as you can see, it does actually work. So it takes us to the app store. Now, what you can do is also edit those apps. So if you go ahead and go to the widget right here, you will be able to basically edit anything. So any of these launchers that you choose, you can go ahead and edit them any way you like. So if we go here, I can tap on one of the apps and then pick any app I want to open then add it to your home screen, pick a beautiful wallpaper, and just like that, you will have an amazing looking setup for your home screen. Now, of course, one of the highlights of the new iOS 26 are the transparent widgets on the home screen. And you can see how cool these look. All you have to do is just pick the right wallpaper for your device. And in this case, I have this wallpaper that, of course, I will leave linked right down below in the description of the video, and it has this outline right here where you can place your widgets and your icons and leave the other part blank here without any icons choose the transparent icons which is really easy to do you go to the edit section right here tap on right here customize make sure you go ahead and pick the clear icons make sure you remove that so it doesn't add that tint to the background and make your home screen look darker once you have done that you also use right here the bigger icons so you get like more of icons and remove those text from your home screen the labels and it looks much much cleaner what we have done here, I have a few apps here that I need. At the top, we have a widget from the Mojo app that I just showed you guys on the previous setup. It actually looks really awesome. We have the current time right here and a few details regarding the device. And it also makes the home screen look much, much better. 
Next up is a wallpaper that looks really awesome. It makes this setup. It's basically the wallpaper that will make the setup for you as well. Now, of course, I will leave this link right down below in the description of the video. But the idea here is to pick a wallpaper. You don't have to use this one. You can use your own wallpaper, but just pick a, a wallpaper that has like a color that will cover most of the wallpaper. Like you can see right here, the white color. Then it has like this really cool controller right here. Now, what we have done here is try to combine one color that will dominate the home screen, but a few other touches like these white icons right here that are colorful in the middle with these symbols. And of course, add that to a white wallpaper. If you're using, let's say a red wallpaper, you add the icons that are mostly red and it will look really, really cool. Now, right there, we also have a widget again from the Mojo app, which looks really awesome. We said that as a transparent widget. Now, of course, on iOS, you can place the icons anywhere. So we just place the icons right there with this like a blank space and it doesn't cover the wallpaper. Basically, the controller here, which is the main idea of this wallpaper. Also, we have placed on the dock here icons that are mainly white with colorful like icon symbols on them. And it makes the, this setup actually look really, really cool. And last but not least is this setup that you can create using a split wallpaper. Now you can use this wallpaper, which of course will be linked right down below in the description of the video, or you can use any other wallpaper you want. Now the idea here is to have one part that is black and then you can have a part here that is colorful where you can place your icons and I have the widgets right here on the black part. They actually look really cool. And you can see these amazing widgets which you can add from the Widgie app, which is really awesome. I will show it in a second here, but so what you have to do is just place the icons right here and then on the left side or the right side, whichever one you prefer. And then you can place a row of icons, a column of icons right here. You can maybe do two if you want to, but in my opinion, this looks much, much cleaner having just one column of icons right here. Now let's go back into the Widgie app. So first of all, you will need to have the transparent widgets to make it look much cleaner cleaner to do that before you set them up just go to the home screen and go to the edit section right here basically on the home screen you have your icons moving like this and then you swipe to a page where there are no icons and you take a screenshot once you have done that you go into the widget app and then go to manage and then go to setup transparency tap here and here and load the screenshot you just took on both places and then you will be able to have these transparent looking widgets on your home screen paired with these icons, which we have set on the dark mode. So when you go to edit right here and customize, you just set them to the dark mode right here and they will stay on the dark mode no matter whether your device is on the light mode or dark mode they go better like this with this black part right here. So you need to have them on the dark mode. It looks really, really cool. So that's basically it for this video, guys. This is how you can easily and quickly create these five amazing setups for the home screen of your iOS 26 device or maybe even older iOS versions. Everything you need, the links to the apps and the wallpapers that I have used will be right down below in the description of the video. So go ahead, give them a try, create one of these and make your home screen look really different. So that is it. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.